2007, the Pew Research Center's Forum on Religion and Public Life conducted a U.S. religious landscape survey. The study of 35,101 people found the following. While the U.S. is generally considered a highly religious nation, African Americans are markedly more religious on a variety of measures than the U.S. population as a whole, including level of affiliation with a religion, attendance at religious services, frequency of prayer, and religion's importance in life. Compared with other racial and ethnic groups, African Americans are among the most likely to report a formal religious affiliation, with fully 90% of African Americans describing themselves as belonging to one religious group or another. Given that many faiths have traditionally been unwelcoming to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered people, LGBT people, how do black LGBT people raised in faith traditions reconcile their spiritual beliefs with their sexual orientation? For many, it is not an easy process, as one sense of worth or value is diminished or destroyed by the constant judgment of being characterized as sinful or an abomination. But reconciliation is possible. In this album of oral histories, focusing on coming out and reconciling sexual reality with spiritual faith and practice, members of LGBT faith leaders of African descent of New York City share unique journeys to finding personal relationships with God. They describe the revelatory shifts in consciousness and self-acceptance they experienced by realizing that God's love was available to them unconditionally. They found it possible to be true to themselves and participate with complete honesty in their faith communities, exercising deep convictions and understanding that God's love cannot be blocked or obscured by religious teachings, interpretations, or conventions. Their stories may inspire your faith leaders, faithful members, and faith community to revisit the subject of faith and sexual orientation. In almost all of these spiritual biographies, you hear common themes of family religion, individual struggle with sexual orientation as adulthood approached, and eventual return to a faith community. As you might expect, one common theme among these stories is childhood isolation at church. Another common theme is personal struggle with sexual difference and self-acceptance. The third one is finding a place in a faith community, whether or not it is the same as the childhood church. 